Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to day two, a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 315. Today we're going to make some changes, ladies and gentlemen, which is something that I think you guys uh, have been eager to see on the series, which is a really good thing. So hopefully you enjoy. If you do, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. We are shooting for 2000 likes on a Thursday in, in July. I don't know if that's too much to ask for. Hey, you'll have to prove me wrong. I don't know if you're going to get there, but hey, prove me wrong. And of course, subscribe as well. If you are new around here, uh, join the lasty gang. So the squad currently is just all messed up, isn't it? Yesterday, we didn't use it. We just played draft instead. Uh, we won the draft. If you haven't ever seen me win the draft, you can go and check out yesterday's episode. Um, and yeah, like so we, we got a couple of packs for that. They weren't really great, though. But I put some feelers out on Twitter as to what sort of squad you would want me to use. And I gave you three options. A French team, a Prem team, or a Brazilian team. And about 50% of you chose the Brazil team and 25-25 for, for, uh, for France and uh, Premier League. So we're going for Brazil. And it's going to give me a chance to bring in some players that I haven't got the chance to use yet this year. And really wanted to. And the first player is Diego Carlos, team of the season. That's great because we used his UEL card, the yellow card, the orange card, whatever it was. We used that for a long time. And he was great. And I hate playing against Tots Diego Carlos. We also get the chance, finally, to use team of the season Paulinho. Another sort of, like, tip of the hat to, uh, to a player we used for a long, old time. A good servant to the club. Because we had flashback Paulinho for the longest time. And the next player, I've wanted to use him for ages. I never got around to it because he was always too expensive. If you remember, this card was 500,000 coins. Alex Teixeira, welcome to the club. Genuinely excited to give this guy uh, a try in, in our weekend league. Uh, so, welcome to the club, Teixeira. So, those are the three players that I've bought. I am going to buy one more once I sort of get the team settled and realize that I want to make one more change. Um... But what we need to do, of course, is adapt our squad. So we have lots of very good usable Brazilians at the moment. So these are the players that we're gonna that we're gonna use. Welcome back, Neymar. I, I wonder if a lot of you picked Brazil so that we brought Neymar back into the squad. We've been thoroughly disrespecting him for a while now by not playing him. So welcome back to the squad, Neymar Jr., Player of the Month. Uh, and then welcome to my new players. So obviously, uh, Alexandro comes back in as a, as a left back that we have. Um, but Tots Diego Carlos and Edo Militao's flashback at centre back. That's got to be spicy, right? That's got to be a great partnership. Um, Alex Teixeira is going to come in in that midfield spot as, as one of my cams. I would love it. I mean, maybe we could have used those three lone icons. Maybe part of those could have... I mean, what is that? That's only 14 games. We're probably not going to go 14-0 this week. So we do need to buy and use someone. We're leaving out Allen. I don't think he's good enough at this stage of the game. Um, but yeah, take a look at that for the starting eleven. Uh, knowing that we've got Bobby and Neymar up front. And we've got Vinicius and Teixeira as pacey wide cams. And then Paulinho and Fabinho in the midfield, the DMs, with Fabinho being the sit-back one. Paulinho getting forward, pushing up, doing what he wants to do. That's the aim anyway. So I'll show it to you on here, and I'll also show you in a little bit like a more visual representation of where everyone's going to play in our 4 triple two. But you can see it right there. That's how I'm aiming to, to start with the, uh, the starting 11. Um, I'm a little bit worried about maybe like super pace up front. We don't have the Ousmane dembele Ribery combo. Uh, we've got Neymar, who's quick, but very weak. Um, and then Bobby Firmino, who's super clinical, but not super quick. So I wonder if we might struggle a little bit there. I'm not sure. Well, the only way is to find out, right, by playing our games and stuff. Um, so we stick a Hawk on Paulinho. I want to emphasize the fact that I don't need him to be 
amazing defensively. I want him to push up the field, help the team out, be a little bit quicker in the midfield, that type of thing. And I also decided to do that. Switch over the left wings so that Neymar's back on 10 chem. I feel maybe at this stage of the game, he needs all the help he can get in terms of his stats. And Vinicius, I can trust on 7 chem as a wide cam. Neymar as like a an all-out striker. I need him to be firing on all max possible like chemistry style points that he can get um so yeah anyway that's like the the squad there will be one more change as i said earlier but um i'm qu quite interested to try the brazil so the reason i picked brazil or france essentially for the nations is because with summer heat we've managed to get some very good players in um brazil we've got fabinho we've got vinicius and now we've got a new uh, danilo uh, who at this stage of the video is still a 92 but does get boosted up to a 95 by the end that's crazy by the way uh, and then if it was france well we all know that summer heat has been very french heavy so we've got a lot of those players as well we might have nearly done absolutely every single one of them Maybe. Uh, so we would have been, we would have had a nice OP team as well, even if it was France. And then Prem would have allowed me to buy like maybe Hyung Min Son, maybe Ricarlison or Richarlison, however you pronounce the name. Um, those are players which I've kind of wanted to use for a long time, haven't had the chance to use. And I think maybe that's what we do in the weekend leagues going forwards is that if I'm, if I don't take a huge loss on these Brazilians, which I probably will, by the way, the final player is going to be Tots Alex Tellez. Didn't realise. He was like 140k now. He was very expensive for the longest time. I guess the Tots players in general have come down. you know. And I also bought these guys on Tuesday night. So it was like, they're still in packs till Friday. I don't know what EA are going to do after Friday. Are they going to crash? Most likely. Am I going to lose loads of coins? Probably. Um, but hey, it is what it is. You know, they seemed like good prices for what they are, for their stats and stuff. So worst case scenarios, we just kind of keep them. I don't know. I mean, 57k for Teixeira. And that, was, that wasn't the cheapest on the market. That was just one that I didn't have to apply uh, uh, CF to CAM to and stuff like that. You know, I could just... I could have him in the cam spot already, and that's why I bought him. I think you could get him for maybe 54. Um, I've gone with a maestro on him. I wanted to boost his passing just a little bit. Obviously, he's incredibly fast already. Um, his dribbling is brilliant, but yeah, we boosted it a little bit as well as his shooting, as well as his passing. I think that's a good cam style for him. Uh, and then, like I said, Hawk on, on Paulinho. Maybe engine would have been a little bit better. We might switch it to engine. But I just don't really fancy going out buying chemistry stars right now. So we'll see what he's like with Hawk. Um, and that boosts his physical a little bit too, which is quite nice. You know, a little bit of more aggression or whatever. Uh, and, and then I think both, I think Alex Tellez and Diego Carlos both have anchors on them. And that would probably be, be what I would want to use anyway. So, uh, so yeah, we do a headliners challenge. Don't really get anywhere with that. No... No crazy player in, in the in the two-player pack to begin with. But then we get a prime mixed players pack. This is literally potential to be good, terrible, whatever. It, you know, we end up getting a, a team of the week non-walkout. So we know it's not going to be anything amazing. But hey, it's going to be 10k at least. Um, and we get team of the week Zagadou. Uh, 82 rated from Dortmund. French centre-back. I thought maybe he might go for 20k just because of like the, the club nation type thing. Maybe that would help for someone's SBC fodder. Uh, but he was a straight up discard. He was 10k, 10.5k. So I literally took the discard price for him. And then ever so slightly changed the team around as well. Only simply because uh, Alex Teixeira was on 9 chem instead of 10 chem. And I didn't want to use a cam to CM on him. So we just switched it to a 4-3-3-4 and adjust the squad accordingly. Uh, and you can see this is the visual representation of how it will play in-game. Um, I'm not going to force myself to just use Brazilians this weekend league. In the starting 11, yes, that's what I'm doing. But I will be bringing on Usman. I will be bringing on Ribery. I will probably be bringing on Pogba or Wijnaldum or Mane or something like that. So uh, it's not like they're going to play the entire game. Neymar's probably going to come off. Bobby might come off. Teixeira might come off. Vinicius Jr. might come off. We'll see. We will see. Um, so instead of playing another draft today to earn a couple of packs, I thought I'm not going to push myself up to rank two because I think I probably need four or five thousand rank points. And I don't see myself playing that much rivals. But if we can just test this team out, make sure we're not going down the completely like wrong path here. Or if we don't like to share her, maybe we bring in like Ricarlison or someone instead. Um, so th there, there are options uh, and, and I wanted to just test them out. So we come up against quite a nice squad to begin with. And look at that pace from Alex Teixeira, knocking it back to Vinicius Jr., 
1-0. I mean, normally my wide cams in the 4 triple 2 don't get that involved. Well, they've just worked together there to get the goal. Roberto Firmino knocking it inside to Vinicius Jr. Good save. And Bobby's going to follow up with a rebound. 13 minutes on the clock. I am 2-0 up and this guy is going to decide to move on and quit. So, I mean, there's an easy rivals win for you. And it was a great start. Really liked trying to get on the ball with Alex Teixeira out wide and just use him for his dribbling and his pace. He feels a little bit like Vinicius in the way that he's super fast. So that when you do that little stutter fake shot, you know, the running one where you try and cut past the defender, a lot of the time you make it past them, which is good. So I thought I'd also check how close am I to Division 4, because if we can get to Division 4, Rank 3 will be slightly better packs. It'll be 4 Mega Packs as opposed to 2 Mega Packs and a couple of 15k packs or whatever. So it'd be good if we can get up to, to, to Division 4 and then Rank 3 every week won't feel quite as bad, I guess. Um, but we do get something from our pack right here. Only regular boards, unfortunately. Uh, but we are going to end up getting uh, the Ajax cam. That is Dusan Tadic. Uh, 84 overall rated. We'll take that. I think. I mean, I think that was from a two-player pack, right? That was just from, from a two-player pack from something. So uh, we'll take that. And Audrey Azola as well. Uh, they are two good players. One for rating and one for, like, uh, you know, that's a, a buy-in link. If we ever need that for marquee matchups or something. Next team we come up against, super solid, you know. Uh, none of those players there are weak whatsoever. We need to be super careful against this guy. He also was called RTG. So if that was a, uh, a road to glory, then GG's to you, bro. You've got a hell of a team right there. Um, I, I really like it. I wish I had that Ramos, that's for sure. Uh, but we are testing him quite early, getting through, making a few shots count. Only let him really have one shot in this game to begin with. Um, and have I missed the goal that I scored there? That is frustrating. Apologies, guys, because that is the only goal I score in that game. What an absolute error that is. Mis what a mistake to maker. But he does end up getting it through. Essentially, this game was like a nothing one because it was just a one-all draw. Even as we get the ball, I think get the ball to, to Ibra right now um, from Usman. I brought on Usman, Ribery, and Ibra, Ibra uh, and I missed that. I thought that one was going to sink its way into the top of the, to the net. Uh, hey, it is what it is. We get a one-all draw and GG's to that guy. I can't believe I missed my goal out. Sorry, guys. What a noob. It's not like I've edited 315 of these before this year as well. Um, but look at this for a squad to come up against. Tots and Bappe. Tots, uh, well, Tots CR7. Prime Icon Moments Cruyff. Prime R9. Okay. Probably not going to get promoted to Division 4. Probably going to take a loss here. But look at the dribbling and stuff from Teixeira. I don't know what he was doing with his defenders. It almost felt like he let me have that goal. But I scored. And then eight minutes, nine minutes onto the clock, Paulinho gets inside, takes the strike and scores it. And if he can do that for me, if my second D secondary DM can do that for me, scoring goals and stuff, then I'm all over that. Yes, please. But he quits. This guy and his team quits at 2-0 after nine minutes. Wowzers. So that is going to give us enough skill ranking to push up into... Uh, uh, Division 4 and that might be the final rivals game I play all year because I can just stay in Div 4 now uh, However, we'll see but the next thing on my list to do was uh, I wanted to I wanted to get Dan James done now luckily we got silky skills done We, we got that part done in, uh, in in the rivals that we we're playing and we actually got one out of the seven uh games done as well by playing rivals instead of squad battles so essentially if I built a prem team um, and just went into to six more squad battles wins, I could get this 91 rated Dan James. Not really to use. He doesn't interest me in that way, but more as just a free 91 rated piece of fodder that I can stick into an SBC where I will definitely want to do some sort of SBC uh, in the future. So, so yeah, anyway. Uh, a couple more packs there that we got from either season objectives or whatever. Nothing really panning out for us. We get an 81 rated Matthew. I mean, yeah, that's okay. Probably sells for 3k right now um, and we can use them at some point but I'm just struggling to I'm just really struggling with those 80 to 83 rated players again 
to the point where I can't even do a guaranteed tots pack without buying them, and they're very, very expensive. Uh, so yeah, this was the the prem team that I built, put together. It was just a little bit nothing really. Like the players weren't really in in great chemistry, or, or, or I was using like Pogba at wide cam. It doesn't really matter because it was just against professional squad battles, and I just needed to ensure that I um, got like goals and assists with prem players in my wins. So it was as simple as that, really. Uh, really didn't take too long. Six games of squad battles in a row whilst I was editing some of this video i wouldn't be surprised if i was busy playing this whilst i was trying to chop up that game where i forgot to put the goal in i wouldn't be surprised i was trying to multitask and i don't do that very well but welcome dan james we got him unlocked and we actually progressed through the levels quite well we got level five level six level seven and i think level eight as well done just from playing those games which means we pushed through did the dan james objective we did the uh, probably like bronze week and nearly all of the silver week one uh, stuff as well. Uh, I actually quite like this royal gold stuff. For the first time in months, I've just changed my stadium theme from the UCL one to royal gold. Hopefully that'll be all shiny and stuff on the outside. I've not changed my uh, TIFO to that one. I'm going to leave the gold and go up there. But hopefully we can have a nice shiny gold stadium. That would, that would be like the dream. I love that. Very, very regal. Um, but we also, yeah, at level 5, I completely missed about unlocking. It was uh, the Garincha uh, icon moment. So we've got him unlocked, which is nice. I was hoping maybe Zidane would feature in this, but he's not one of the loans you can get, which is very sad. I'm still never, never had the chance to use icon moment Zidane. Uh, so from Dan James, there are a couple of packs that you get. It's really not great. I'll just skip them if they, there's nothing in there. Um, but it has been known. And actually, I've seen two or three people on my Twitter timeline, uh, like, replying to me on Twitter, just show, showing me, like, crazy packs that they got from, like, a random Electrum pack from the Dan James objective. So... If you've done that and you, yeah, one GG's, you've unlocked yourself an easy 91 rated card. Probably quite usable in the Premier League, Man United links, all of that stuff if you wanted to. Or if you're a Man United fan, you're laughing, right? And then two, if you manage to pack something sick from that, then just GG's in general. Because you shouldn't be getting anything from little Electrum packs, should you? I mean, we get a shadow. It's untradeable, I can't do anything with it. But if there's a defender that I want to stick it on, I've got a shadow now, which is great stuff. Um... And then just to end off the episode then, look at my Danilo now. Wow. I think we need to adjust the chemistry style on him. I, although I do like the physical stats on there. They give a nice boost and really round him off there. Uh, we're getting plus ones on the defensive. So in my eyes, I think maybe putting an engine on him would work. However, I just wonder if maybe we need that strength and aggression. So do we just leave it on, on what we've got there and just act as a defender? Because as a right back, does he really need much more than 89 agility, 83 balance? Probably not. So I think I might have just talked myself into keeping him in the anchor chem style. But yeah, he's basically topped off in defense and 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 pace and physical. What a beast. Is he now the best right back on the game? Is Tots Lala, Tots Trent, Tots, you know, any of those players, are any of them better? Who is the best right back on the game? Have we now got him and we got him for 100k? Let me know. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button. We are shooting for 2,000 likes. Subscribe as well if you're new around here. I thank you very much for doing that. And of course, you can find my social links down below in the description. We've got Twitter and Instagram and stuff. Come follow me over there. See what I'm getting up to every single day. Take it easy. Stay safe and healthy. I'll catch you tomorrow with my rewards. Sorry that they weren't on Thursday. I had a, an idea and I went with it and I made my video instead. I'll catch you tomorrow, guys. Peace.